Israel is poised to ascend to new heights, driven by a series of transformative projects that are set to propel its economy to the next level. These mega-projects are not only reshaping the landscape of the country, but are also poised to leave a profound impact on the global stage, unraveling the stories behind the projects that are catalyzing Israel's journey towards economic excellence. Renewable Energy Projects in MENA 2023-2030 Before we dive into the details of these remarkable projects, make sure you're not missing out on any updates. Don't forget to hit that Grand Project Subscribe button. Israeli energy companies Enlight Energy and Numid Energy have recently unveiled a collaborative initiative aimed at advancing renewable energy projects throughout the Middle East and North Africa region. This strategic partnership entails joint efforts in the development, financing, construction, and operation of renewable energy ventures. Notably, the plan encompasses nations, with which Israel lacks official diplomatic relations. This visionary project signifies a significant step forward in regional cooperation and sustainable energy development. The partnership between Enlight Energy and Numid Energy has outlined an ambitious strategy to enter the renewable energy sectors of various nations in the Middle East and North Africa. The target countries include Morocco, the United Arab Emirates, and Bahrain, all of which are participants in the U.S.-mediated Abraham Accords. Additionally, the plan encompasses Saudi Arabia and Oman, with which Israel is believed to maintain discreet yet amicable relations. Enlight Energy and Numid Energy have articulated their intention to collaborate on a spectrum of initiatives, focusing on solar energy, wind energy, and energy storage projects in these countries. Furthermore, the partnership aims to identify novel prospects for engagement within the region. Notably, Israel recently solidified an agreement with Cairo and the European Union for the exportation of natural gas through Egypt, enhancing its energy-related partnerships. Enlight Energy specializes in the development and financing of renewable energy projects, encompassing solar and wind facilities that contribute to global green energy generation. The company boasts ongoing initiatives in various countries, including Israel, the US, Sweden, Spain, Serbia, Hungary, and Croatia. Established in 2008, Enlight Energy is a listed entity on the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. Delic Drilling, in collaboration with various partners, played a pivotal role in the discovery and advancement of Israel's significant natural gas fields. The Israeli government mandated the divestiture of Delic's holdings in Tamar, Keresh, and Tannin as part of a contentious natural gas framework agreement in 2015 aimed at breaking the monopoly held by Delic and its associates. In response to the discovery of natural gas in the late 2000s, Israel established a sovereign wealth fund to invest in the anticipated windfall from energy resources. This fund was created primarily to benefit the state, rather than directly alleviating the burden of high electricity prices for consumers. The natural gas operations in Israel have not only paved the way for energy self-sufficiency, but have also provided a buffer against the severe energy crisis stemming from the Russian-Ukrainian conflict earlier this year. This situation is particularly significant given the limited availability of natural resources in the region. It's noteworthy that Saudi Arabia stands as an exception due to its status as the world's largest exporter of crude oil. Tamar Gas Field 2023-2049 Situated within the Mediterranean Sea, off the coast of Israel, the Telmar gas field stands as a significant natural gas reservoir. This field occupies a location within Israel's exclusive economic zone, approximately 80 kilometers, 50 miles, west of Haifa, submerged in waters that extend to depths of 1,700 meters, 5,600 feet. Tamar's proven reserves are estimated at around 200 billion cubic meters. At the moment of its discovery, Tamar represented a milestone as the most substantial finding of gas or oil within the Levant Basin of the Eastern Mediterranean Sea. This discovery was executed by Noble Energy and was a groundbreaking event in the exploration of hydrocarbon resources in this region. As we uncover the transformative mega-projects that are shaping Israel's future, don't miss a beat. Click that Grand Project subscribe button. The Tamar conventional gas field is linked to a pair of expansion initiatives the Tamar Southwest and the Tamar Southwest Phase 2. Currently, these expansion undertakings are in the process of construction and feasibility assessment to commence operations in the year 2025. Anticipated peak production from the field is projected to occur in the year 2026. 
Operating under specific economic considerations, the production activities are foreseen to continue until the point when the field reaches its economic limit, which is estimated to happen around the year 2049. Presently, the Tamar field holds a significant role in Israel's energy landscape, contributing significantly to the nation's daily output. It is responsible for approximately 50% of the country's total daily gas production, underscoring its crucial role in ensuring a stable energy supply for various sectors and industries. The Railroad Between Ashdod and Eilat, 2020 to 2030. The proposed Israeli railway known as the High Speed Railway to Eilat, Met Red, has been designed to establish a transportation link connecting the primary population centers and Mediterranean ports of Israel to the southern urban hub of Eilat, situated along the Red Sea coast. This railway also aims to facilitate the movement of commercial freight between the Mediterranean city of Ashdod and the Red Sea port of Eilat. The estimated length of the railway will encompass approximately 260 kilometers, 160 miles, of electrified double track rail. This length calculation does not incorporate the Tel Aviv, Beersheba section, which adds 100 kilometers, 62 miles. At present, Dimona Railway Station serves as the southernmost passenger train station in Israel. However, this station has recorded the lowest numbers of boardings and alightings in the country. The envisioned railway, if brought into existence, is poised to fulfill a dual role, catering to both passengers and freight transportation needs, which includes the conveyance of minerals extracted from the Negev Desert. The proposed high-speed passenger service would facilitate a swift journey from Tel Aviv to Eilat, completing the route in two hours or less with just one intermediate stop at the Beer Shiva North Railway Station. A supplementary, slower service would offer a route from Beersheba to Eilat, with stops in multiple towns and villages located in the Arava region. In addition to its passenger services, the railway is envisaged to operate as an alternative freight route to the Suez Canal. This strategic function would enable countries in Asia to transport goods to Europe through Israel. This prospective role gained prominence during the Suez Canal blockage incident in 2021, which underscored the importance of alternative trade routes. Nonetheless, the development of this railway forms part of a broader scheme aiming to transform Eilat into a metropolitan area housing approximately 150,000 residents. In 2015, the financial newspaper Globes revealed that in the event of the project's realization, Chinese contractors were anticipated to be involved in constructing the train line, establishing the necessary infrastructure, and providing the trains and locomotives. However, as of 2019, the project had been put on hold indefinitely. Nevertheless, a media report in 2020 indicated a renewed intention to plan a railway line to Eilat. And that wraps up today's look into the remarkable projects driving Israel's economic surge. Remember to hit that Grand Projects subscribe button so you won't miss any updates. Don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments below.